Today we're gonna be draining a gas water heater and you're gonna need two tools. One, our hose, and two is going to be a flat tip screwdriver. Now, this one that we've got today is very interesting because it's actually on a top floor and so we have kind of run our hose actually through the living room and it's gonna go out the window uh, because we're gonna have a lot of water that we're draining and we wanna make sure that that does not go in the house. Now we've got a couple pieces here that you're gonna need to make sure that you can find. The first is going to be your gas shut off. So that'll be right over here. And then you're gonna have your assembly over on the other side of it. Uh, we'll get to this in a bit. Next piece is going to be your water shut off. So on this one, we have attached to the wall. It's usually gonna be somewhere coming off of the top of your water tank. You can follow that line and you'll usually find your shut off there. And then the third piece is going to be your pressure relief. Uh, it's usually going to be on the side of your water tank. This will be to release the pressure when you start creating a vacuum by having the water come out of your tank. The first thing that we're going to do is we're gonna take our hose and we're going to attach it down here. This is going to be your water outlet. Make sure that's on there tight have an additional wrench or something giving that an extra squeeze is always helpful you can never be too safe with these the second thing that we're going to do is we are going to shut off the gas so if that is perpendicular crossing your gas line it is now shut off and then as an additional safety measure what we're going to do is turn our gas to off so you're going to have off pilot on and then we'll also turn the heat all the way down and then the last piece that we're going to do is we're going to shut off the water again it is going to be the exact same as we had with our gas if it is running perpendicular crossing this line then your water is off now we're not going to get any new water in the device and then once we have Verify that our gas is off, that our water is off, and that our hose is tight onto our tank. We're gonna take our cross tip, and you're gonna have a little piece right here. And you'll just go and you'll turn this, and open that up. Should only be about a quarter turn. And then we'll come up here, and we can start relief, releasing some of the pressure. So you can just leave that sticking straight out. And now we'll start draining our tank. So it's very important that you do make sure that the actual gas is off and that you don't have a fire or anything. And the same thing when you've got an electric water heater that you turn off the electric because you do not want the heating elements here at the bottom operating while the tank is empty because that can completely damage your unit doubt that you want to do a replacement after your standard routine uh, maintenance piece. So make sure that you are turning these off so that you don't do any damage to your tank while you are trying to increase its efficiency. Once your water heater is finished draining, uh, now if you have an older water heater, you may be able to even go check and see a bunch of like limestone and stuff. Again, this one is a second floor one, so it just went straight into the grass. It's also a newer one, so you're probably not gonna have too much sediment in it. And honestly, that's ideal. You don't wanna get any of that buildup. But after we're finished draining this water heater, we're gonna come back over here, take our flat tip, and we're gonna turn that back, that one quarter turn, and that is going to shut off the water coming from this. Then we can actually unscrew our hose. It's probably going to be a little bit warm, but it shouldn't be hot. Anybody who's nervous about that, get that completely unscrewed. May have a couple drips there, but obviously it is not flowing out freely, uh, and so we're good here. The next step, and this one's very important, when you're starting out, you can turn off the water or the gas at whatever point, uh, in whatever order rather. For this one, you have to turn the water back on first. We're gonna come up here, let's turn our pressure relief valve off, and then we're gonna go and we're gonna turn our water back on. You'll hear it start flowing again, and then let that fill up the tank. Now that the water heater is completely filled up again, 
we can come back over here and we're going to turn our gas line back on. Make sure you turn the right way. And then this is one of the parts that a lot of people find difficult. So we've got down here, now this water heater already had it off. A lot of times there'll be a plate. It's not really connected by much. You can usually just pull it up and take it out. But if you look in here, this is where we're going to see our pilot light. So it's off right now, but in a second, uh, we'll pull this back up and we'll show you what it looks like when you're turning it on. Turn our pilot light back on. We'll turn our knob over to pilot lighting and then our switch over to pilot lighting as well. And then we'll show you within the pilot light, but you're gonna push down on this, that's gonna release gas. And then on some of these newer models, you're going to have this little piece that will be your igniter. Now, if you've got an older system, you may have something else where you're going to have to bring one of the long uh, lighters or a long match or something and actually stick it under. But the newer versions typically have these so that you can just create a spark. So we're going to be pressing this down. That's going to release some of the gas and then I'll be using this to spark it. So we'll come down here by our little viewing window so that you can actually see it get lit. So now you see that it's lit. Now if I start laying off of the pilot light, uh, it actually stayed on. So sometimes it will start going out. Once you have this steady flame and you can actually come off the pilot light fully, then you can move to on. After you've moved it to on, you can start increasing the temperature. Now you'll see as we move up, that flame may pick up a little bit. how to drain your water heater for this annual maintenance in six easy steps. Step one, turn off the gas. You're gonna make that perpendicular to the gas line. Step two, turn off your water. You're gonna pull that or push it and make that perpendicular to your water line. Step three, make sure that you get your hose onto the water heater tight and the end is going somewhere outside of the house. Step four, take your flat tip screwdriver and you are going to turn this one quarter turn so that you can start allowing the water to flow out of the water tank. Step five, you're going to press your pressure relief valve so that it is sticking straight out from the water tank and that will allow the water to flow out of the tank. And then step six, you're gonna do everything in reverse. Make sure that you are dropping the pressure relief, turning a quarter turn, taking your hose off, filling the water, Make sure you do that before you turn on your gas and then we can relight the water here.